Hello, Type Trace here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create object styles in Adobe InDesign. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I've just created a new InDesign document and inserted some different images right here. This image right here, I've given a border and a drop shadow. And let's say that I want to have multiple images this way with the same border and the same drop shadow. It can take quite some time to actually do this for all of our images. There is a much faster way you can apply this to your other images. And the way you can do that is by using object styles. So let's actually create an object style for this image right here. So first select our image and then go over to the object styles in the right side. If you cannot see this object style panel, you can actually find it up in window. And if you go down to styles, you have the object styles right here. I've created two videos about character styles and paragraph styles. If you want to know what these styles are for. But this video is for object styles. And actually object styles is just when you have an object and the two other styles, paragraph and character styles is for text only. While objects is for, of course, objects like frames, images and shapes. But we have our object right here. So just select our object or our image is in this example. Go over to our object styles panel and click on these three lines right here. Then choose new object style. And this panel will now show up. In here we have the style name, so we can just give it a name. Something like this. And we can base it on another style if we like to do that. And we can also give it a shortcut. I'll not be doing that right here. This is just fine for now. And then just choose apply style to selection. So that means that when you have selected an object, and when you then press OK, it has selected the object style for us. So let's just press OK right here. And as you can see, we have now created our object style. So if we just try to choose none right here, it will remove our style. So let's just choose this back. And now we can actually just find our other images that needs the same border and drop shadow that we have created an object style to. So we have two images right here. We can actually just select these images and choose our object style. These images now have the exact same border and drop shadow. And the cool thing about object styles and styles in general is that you can actually change them really easy. So let's say that we wanted another color for our border. Instead of changing them all and selecting them individually, we can actually change them in the style. So let's just double click on our style. And we can actually find all of the settings for our style right here. So if I just go down to the stroke, we can see our stroke for our border right here. And if you turn on preview, you can actually see the changes we are creating. So let's say that you would like a blue border instead of a red. We can actually just click here. And it has changed it all the places where we have used this object style. And you can actually just press OK. And the same thing, if you don't want to go into the style every time, you can actually just do it on one of the images or objects. So let's say that we want to change this to a green frame. And if we now look over at our object styles panel, we can see that there is a little plus right here, which is overrides. And that actually means that we want to update our style. So we can do that if we just right click and choose redefine style. So we are updating our style. So if I click right here, you can see that it has now been changed all the places where I have used this object style. So yeah, that is actually how to create object styles in Adobe InDesign. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.